Hello and welcome to another review from the Digital Project Manager, where we test tools so you don't have to. This time, I'm going to talk to you about Monday.com, a tool that has been putting out so much marketing that I feel guilty not reviewing it. So in this video, I'm going to give you my impressions as a first user, how the tool addresses some core aspects of project management and what stands out. But most importantly, if there's anything that sucks, let's get into it. Now, before I get into the core project management features, let's explore the onboarding because this experience can either make or break a new user. Let's see what happened. I started by setting up my account information and then jumped to a series of screens that asked me about my team, my company, and all the boilerplate questions that these tools ask to profile you as a customer. Once finished, I jumped into a few more questions to help me set up my first workspace and project. Next, I selected the columns and view I would like to start with. The next step was unique as they decided to introduce automations. As someone who has used plenty of other project management tools in the past, I found this really cool. However, I'm not sure how useful a new user would find it, especially because it was not attached to like a video or explanation to tell me about automations and how they work in Monday. Too early to make this decision probably. So I turned them all off. After approximately three minutes, I finally got to the product and was received with some much welcomed help where the tool had me do a few tasks to get familiar with it. I quickly realized that the tool was highlighting where I should click to find what it was asking me to do. So I followed the rest of the list. If I had one ask for Monday and all of the other all-in-one PM solutions out there, is that they have more thorough onboarding checklists as there are so many features to cover. Once done, I decided to seek more knowledge. So I went to the help menu and found a series of videos with explanations that go into more detailed explanation on the different parts of the software. I would highly recommend watching these before starting to build a project. Finally, I tried to see what the Academy had to offer, but realized I needed a separate account for that. Now that we've gone through the onboarding, let's look at the core project management features. So when I evaluate the software, I'm looking for five main things. I want to see how the tool does with task management, collaboration tools, time tracking, document management, and resource management. So let's see how this tool fared in these categories. Creating tasks in Monday.com is easy if you know how to work out some of its kinks. If you are like me, you create all of your tasks in a row and then start indenting them to create the parent-child task relationships within your project. Therefore, I tried following my usual routine here. After selecting the tasks I wanted to indent, I got this very nice pop-up bulk editing menu, but quickly found out turning items into sub-items is not that simple here. To minimize running into this problem, avoid using sub-items as sub-tasks. Instead, use groups as parent tasks items as tasks, and leave sub-items for checklists of things you need to accomplish and for which you would only need a binary status or rack status at most. Finding little success in that method, I went to the Gantt charts, as it's always a useful view to create your entire project from scratch. But after clicking around for a while, I found myself frustrated not being able to do anything. Not a great start, but fortunately, there's other features that are great in this tool. I would divide collaboration within monday.com into three main locations, tasks, attachments, and documents. Let's start with tasks. Task cards have an update section where you can chat with colleagues. In this dedicated space, you can add mention relevant people, add attachments, and react to comments. As you can see, you even have a project chat you can use for more formal messages. Then you have the file section, 
where you can attach files to the tasks, see them all in one place, and even find files using a search bar. Next, let's talk about attachments. Attachments are independent collaboration spaces, and I really like that once you open them, you can give feedback in a visual way. You can visually highlight what your comment refers to. In this case, I've noticed something unrelated to the original request by the user, but I can let Casey know so he can work on it. You can also collaborate in monday.com by co-creating documents with your colleagues. You can start a document from scratch or select from the many templates that Monday offers. Once you start your document, you will be able to write content with others and access a dedicated conversation space where you can exchange messages. Monday has a time tracking feature built into the tool and you can access it if you are using the pro or enterprise plan. All you have to do is enable it by adding the time tracking column to your project. Once you do that, you can easily add a manual entry by entering the appropriate information. Simply select the date, time spent, and add your session. Once you do that, your time will be recorded. Now, if you want to track your time down to the second, I recommend using the timer. This timer can be started and stopped by using the play button on the field of your choice. If you want to track your team's time using Monday's reporting features, I recommend adding a numbers column to your project and labeling it effort. This way, you'll be able to map this field in the chart you built so that the system can compare the time tracked against the expected effort. To create your own time tracker, simply add a chart type view and build a chart like the one you're about to see. You can do this by tweaking the settings according to your needs. Now, if you want to use the workload view to manage your resources, I explain how it works in the resource management video. See, tasks and subtasks, or rather items and subitems in monday.com don't really talk to each other. They're programmed as separate entities. Therefore, if you want to convert a task into a subtask, you will have to go through some extra steps like mimicking the column structure or mapping fields. If you want to use the workload view to manage your resources, you can add it by going to your project views. Simply go to the more views and either search or scroll to find the appropriate view. Before you go into it, make sure you add a numbers field to specify the effort for each task. In this case, I named it effort. This way, the tool can compare the time tracked with the expected effort and display the right allocation percentages. As you can see in my chart settings, I've instructed the tool to look at that field. However, if your work does not vary in effort too much and you'd rather count the number of tasks assigned to each resource, you can choose count items instead. Remember, in this chart, red is bad and blue is good. The busier a resource is, the more the circle will fill. Finally, I'd like to point out this warning that shows if I've booked something on a weekend. Managing documents and files can be painful if you have to track them by opening each task again and again. Thankfully, Monday makes it easy to manage files. You simply have to add the file view and it will automatically pull all of the attachments within your project. I particularly appreciated the search bar, which helped me find stuff very fast. Monday also allows you to make shared documents for your project. Unfortunately, these will not appear in the files view. If you want to look for a document, you'll have to do it manually from the project's folder in the sidebar or using the general search bar. If you want to search shared docs, you'll have to use the general search from the top navigation bar. Now I want to focus on what the tool does that really stood out to me. Therefore, I'm going to show you what feature or features were great. If you were wondering what makes monday.com special, let me tell you. Here is how you can bring other apps into your projects and be more productive. Monday.com has found a way to make apps feel more natural by turning them into views. 
you can browse many different apps from their marketplace and connect them in just a few clicks. I personally tested Miro. The Miro view helped me since it's a tool I like to use to hold brainstorming sessions. After signing in, I selected the board I wanted to view and got this very responsive embed in return. It surprised me to see, however, that there's no app for Canvas, Monday's version of Miro. If you test this tool, definitely give this feature a try and see how much more you can do when you reduce context switching. I think it's only fair for you to know if it's gonna take you days or months to learn this tool. Therefore, I included ease of use in my evaluation. And what I looked at was how easy it is to navigate the tool, but also if there's anything that I can do here that's easier than other tools. As with most of these all-in-one tools, learning the software lies more on the difficult side of the scale. On the one hand, you have to get used to having so many features. On the other, you have to play a bit of a mind reader to get into the developer's heads and understand how they envisioned the use of the tool. There are so many things to look at, so many buttons to click, so many labels. Personally, I find Monday a bit more confusing than other tools because of the disconnect between items and sub-items, the Gantt views level of functionality which doesn't help me build my projects from scratch, the loud colors which can get too much if you overuse them, and the most frustrating thing and counterintuitive behavior, how even blank new projects can be populated with a few items. Good tool, but it carries a steep learning curve. In this case, integrations will help you connect Monday.com to other tools so that they can be on the receiving end of automations you build within the platform. You can scroll through their many options and find which one you need. I know it's been a lot of information, but before I go into my final thoughts, just let me tell you a little bit about the pros and cons that I identified while researching and testing this tool. First, it is very easy to connect to other tools and they have a massive selection of integrations. You can also create forms that live within your project as views. Finally, its integrated proofing feature allows you to add comments to any attached file. As for the cons, the Gantt view is not useful to build the projects, which I found very frustrating. Subtask columns do not replicate task structure, which requires additional customization. And finally, some of the views, like the calendar and Gantt, seem to have trouble auto-updating. After reading multiple comments online and seeing what people thought about Monday.com, I was going into this review thinking the worst of it. However, I was gladly surprised to find out that it it's a pretty good tool. Is it the best project management tool out there? No, not really. I do think that monday.com is a work management platform and it will help you manage tasks and lists very well. And until you get to the higher plans is when it starts adding project management functionality and we can start considering it a project management tool. Having said that, as any other tool, it has great things, it has bad things. I do believe that its customization, its level of customization has gone in the way of the functionality, especially when you go to the Gantt view, which just, just lacks development in my opinion. And the other one is the disconnect between items and sub-items and how I, I think they haven't really figured out how to work the task subtask relationship and the customization has gotten in the way of the functionality. However, would I recommend Monday.com to you? I would recommend it if you're looking for a management tool that can help you with, with tasks, that can help you with lists, something that can adapt to maybe special circumstances that you have in your company, especially if you're like a services company where you have very unique workflows, then this tool can be great for you. But if you're looking for something like plug and play, easy to learn, this is not for you. And that is all for this review of Monday.com. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you've learned anything, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.